Hey memers and streamers, Fracken here again. I decided to do this quick video to help people sort out the difference between volume and sensitivity in Discord. My core group of friends that I game with uses Discord for our voice comms, and every so often we need to twiddle the volume and sensitivity settings so that everybody can hear each other properly. Just about every time we do this, there's a bit of confusion with the difference between input volume and input sensitivity. Okay, so we're looking at the main interface for Discord here. The very first thing that we're going to want to do is go down to the little gear icon at the bottom left hand side that says user settings and click on that. And now on the left hand side, you'll get a new menu that says user settings, my account, user profile, blah, 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 blah. Scroll down to where it says voice and video. Now click on that. And now we've got our main uh, voice settings menu over on the right hand side. Now there's two different settings here. The top one is how loud you are or how loud other people hear you and the one below it is how loud you have to be or how loud you have to speak before it starts transmitting. These are two different things. So if you're speaking to people and you don't sound loud enough you can turn your volume up with the uh, input volume at the top here but if you find that there's too much background noise and you know people are complaining that you're hitting keys and they can hear your keyboard or your mouse or your cat howling in the background or whatever what you can do then is go down to input sensitivity which determines how loud something has to be before you start transmitting so if you find that, again that you have too much background noise what you can do is you can move this to the right so as you move it to the right, the further to the right, the louder it has to be before it'll start transmitting. Now, if you get too carried away with it, what'll often happen is you'll start to lose parts of words. You know, you'll lose the beginning or the end of words, or, you know, it'll cut out a little bit in the middle when somebody's talking. So in that case, just move it a little bit to the left. So the further to the left you go, the uh, less it will reject background noise, but uh, the softer you can speak before it starts transmitting. If you have too much background noise and it's transmitting that and bothering other people, just move it a little bit to the right. And uh, yeah, so that's it. The Again, the top ones here are the actual volume that other people will hear you at. And the input sensitivity, the one that's below it, is basically how loud you have to talk before it starts transmitting. And uh, now I should also mention here before we're done that there is an option that you can turn on to have it automatically determine this. I never use this myself because then it's just changing settings all the time all by itself. So here, if you just turn that off, you can manually determine where this needs to be. And uh, yeah, it, it's generally helpful to just have somebody in the Discord channel just listen to you. And uh, I would start myself with the input volume. I would start with the input sensitivity all the way down to the left, go back up and then turn your input volume up to whatever it needs to be so that you're loud enough that the other people can hear you and then gradually turn up your input sensitivity until you're basically not transmitting your background noise and uh, so that's it thanks for watching guys and have a good one